Hi again, here we are to continue with our to-do app and the table view. And uh, in the last app we added a, or the last video, we added a, a view that displays as a modal view. And what I'd like to add in this video is a view that will display as a show transition, okay? And so the idea here is that you're gonna tap on a table view cell, one of the cells here, and it will take us to another view and display information about that to, you know, that to do item or whatever you have in the cell, okay? So uh, I'm gonna grab a new view controller here and drag it into our view. And um, you can set the size here, just click on it and choose the property inspector and choose a size here. I'm gonna make it the iPhone 4 size and that'll give me a little more space. And uh, what we'll do is we will, uh, this will be very easy, we'll control click or right click on the table view cell here. It has to be the cell, right? And drag from the cell into the other view controller, okay? And we get this pop-up that asks us what type of segue we want to create. And what we wanna do is we wanna create a show segue. Not show detail, but show, okay? Um, so I'll choose that and and there we go, we're all done. That actually was pretty easy, right? Uh, so why don't we add a couple things to this view to make it, um, you know, make, allow us to know that we're at that view. So uh, I'll grab a, a button here and I'll say, you know, to do details, right? And imagine that we're gonna display those there in a little bit, right? Um, and then maybe we'll give a constraint to this. Um, maybe it needs a couple constraints here, right? So I just added a, um, you know, a vertical space, leading and trailing space, and then maybe we'll update frames on that. And then you could add some other stuff in here too. Maybe, you know, maybe we wanna add a switch there, and this will be the completed, this will represent the completed property maybe, right? So you can, say yes, it's completed, or untap it and say it's not completed. So uh, maybe we'll, we'll set the default state off and then maybe add a couple constraints here, uh, vertical spacing. I kind of missed it that first time and then we'll say trailing space here. And then these two constraints are enough for the switch um, because the switch has a, its own intrinsic height and width, so we don't have to worry about the height and the width. The computer knows how big the switch is, so all we need, really need is to set the horizontal and vertical spacing, right? But anyway, so we've got our view set up, and uh, you know it's got this, uh, this segue here, and you can see when I click on the segue, the, the table view cell is selected, and you know the little arrow here points to this view, so tapping one of these cells should take us to the view here. So we'll test that out. So I'll click play. And it loads up in the simulator. And there we are. So I can tap the plus button and it takes us to the modal view up here. We can dismiss the modal view. And now when I click on one of these or tap on one of those, it should take us to the uh, to the detail view, right? And the detail view comes with a back button. So what's the difference here? Well, the modal view slides up from the bottom and if you look at the animation, it really looks like it's covering the, the original view, right? And that's what it's kind of saying. It's like saying like, hey, here's a question that I'm asking you. We're not leaving or we're not going to a whole new page of content right? Or we're not changing the context of what we're doing. We're just going to ask you a question and you're going to, you know, fill it in, you know, a new to-do item like, you know, um, make lunch, okay? And then you're going to click done and it should add, you know, later we'll add that new to-do item to the list. But but when I click done, the, the view slides out of the way and we're back where we started, okay? So, um, oops, I clicked on the thing there. Let me um, get the thing back here. So uh, so anyway, so there's that. And now when I click on a to-do item, like one of these items here, you'll see that the, the transition slides to the, um, to the left, 
okay? And that's telling us that we're going to a new page of content or we're going to a new context, right? Um, here, we're in the context of viewing all list items. And when I tap on a list item, we're in the context now of viewing a single list item and we can you know, potentially edit that list item, okay? And then when we click back, we can go back. Now, the, the push segues come with the back button if you have the navigation controller. So you have to have this navigation controller for that to work. Um, modal segues don't use the navigation controller because you're not navigating. You're essentially staying in the same place. You're just showing another view on top and asking a question or you know having someone set some settings or do something, right? And then you're going to return them to the original place, right? Or wherever they started from, okay? But anyway, there you go. There's a, there's a quick example using a modal and a, a push segue.